you know, we give a lot of ourselves as caregivers financially and, and uh, in time and, and, and just emotional exhaustion that you face from it. A new program to provide education and support to employers and their caregiving employees. Caregivers Alberta is looking to help them understand the challenges they face and optimize their wellness and productivity, a program which benefit caregivers like Greg. Greg is a teacher and has been taking care of his mother for many years. After COVID, he was required to go back to in-person education and he's had to juggle the two jobs. It affects your health. You know, you, you know, and I was, I've been fighting the cold for weeks. I get it, it goes, I get it, it goes. So it physically it affects you in that way. It affects your relationships financially, you know, the cost. Um, financially, which then the stress of finances. As the population ages in Canada, the need for caregivers becomes more relevant. The Caregivers Alberta Executive Director says part of the challenge employers face retaining talent is that one in four Canadians in the workplace are also full-time caregivers. What happens is uh, employees who are caregivers are not able to leave that at home when they come into work. So they carry that into the workplace. He says caregivers contribute about 650 million hours of unpaid care, which translates to about $12 million annually for the healthcare system. So the family friend caregiver is a critical component of the care economy um, and one that needs to be acknowledged and, and recognized as a partner within the unit of care. The pilot program is in the implementation phase and will roll out throughout the province once the curriculum is complete. In Calgary, Silvia Naranjo, City News.